up. She told me I need to sit down. I said, I don't need to do anything but support my wife. I don't think that's disrespectful. It's not. But they big mad. They're real mad. Oh, no. Welcome to Reality TV. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's get into this tea. Candace's husband Chris got a taste of the barbs this week after he replied to a tweet from Nicki Minaj about the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. The barbs flooded the comments of his post and slid into his DMs to put him in his place. Chris joined Candace's live in shock after all the comments being left under his post and in his DMs. Check this out. All was well. Here, is Chris coming up here? Oh God, he about to be going off and talking loud. Oh, hey. Oh, you're on the live? Mm-hmm. Oh. What you got to say? <laughs> I think... <laughs> this shit is funny right now. What's happening? Oh, the the Nikki fans are mad at me because I said I don't have to do anything but support you. Well, they'll be all right. They're called the Barb's. I don't care what they're called. They're literally all in my DMs calling me the N word. I'm a bald bitch. Nikki, get your Barb's. They calling a white man. Yeah. How dare I disrespect the queen? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Go put some lotion on your ashy ankles and shut up. She told me I need to sit down. I said, I don't need to do anything but support my wife. I don't think that's disrespectful. It's not. But they big mad. They're real mad. Oh, they'll I be better, okay. I better watch myself before I get my shit pushed in. Get your shit pushed in? Yeah, I don't know. Who gonna push it in? I think it's funny, though. They're, they're in your DMs? Oh, yeah. In the Child. DMs. All on my Twitter. Like, commenting on all my Instagram posts. <laughs> Ooh, child. People... My engagement just went through the roof. It's wonderful. Oh my god. That's funny to me. Y'all are funny. I um Bassett Hounds rise. Yeah, y'all go get them. That shit is hilarious. Go get their asses. Like people are texting me. Who's texting you? People are texting me too. Who's texting you? You like like our friends? Uh yeah. Um Chris's name on Twitter is C Bassett33. Watch your mouth, cracker. <laughs> yeah, tell your mama. Tell them to come, come see me in my DMs. They talking to you. Tell them to come see me. Like, how am I? She, she said something to me first. But I'm in. Like, I don't get this whole mentality about why there four hundred ninety one comments under my tweet. Under what tweet? Where I, there's. <laughs> So here, Nikki's tweet was, Candy girl husband really need to sit his ass down, child. Laughing my fucking ass off. Like, she was being funny. She was, it was a, she was like being light and funny. Right. I mean, I'm. And you were light and funny back. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the most. <laughs> like the Ooh, I want this braid to do something else. People are so tough on social media, right? But wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. She was commenting on the show when he came in, not actually speaking on him. Right. Nikki was her saying Chris needs to sit his ass down. She was talking about when he came. Okay, so let also I will say this. Nikki went in a particular order in the way that she addressed each of us. The order that you saw it was not the order that she went in. They moved people around to accommodate my drama, I'm assuming. 
And when the husbands were coming out. Tone it down, Caillou. <laughs> who is Caillou? From that school, uh, Nickelodeon show back in the day. Little bald head boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> when you saw Chris come out there. That was because that was right before the husband's segment. Okay? Chris didn't just come marching out onto the set because um, he was mad. He came out there because you saw all the husbands were out there. All the husbands were came out. And they were all standing in behind the cameras when I sang because their segment was up next. So he was out there because he was summoned by the powers that be to be out there for the husband segment. And when he came over to me, that was because we had broke. We did the break for I, my my segment with Nikki came right before the husband's. So, and that you saw. And that's why Mia was like, OK, I got to go to the bathroom because she was waiting for the before the husband's came I out to go pee. Thanksgiving. Oh, my God. Um, so that's, that's why. Tell Nikki to join. Where Nikki at? So yeah, Nikki, hi Lou. My, I think I went third. Your mayo ass need to keep Nikki on your non-seasoning mouth, mayo ass. <laughs> your mama is a mayo ass. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Um. So why am I messy? I didn't do nothing. Callaloo, yeah. Um. Um. So yes. So that's that's that on that. How was that defending you? Mia said you were smelling like fish at the reunion. She would know. Um, she needs to shut her mouth before I tell all her business. What is going on? Oh, Jesus. The candy canes are fussing. You like mayo, don't you? No, I like Miracle Whip, actually. I'm not a mayo person. Um, why was Chris angry? Chris, why were you angry? Tell them yourself. Well, on the show? Yes. I just didn't like the way they were portraying things. And, and so you heard me say something I just have seen the last three years of the way that they've done Candace and her music. I just didn't like... The direction I saw it going in and what they were trying to do. So. Based on previous situations. Right? right? Yes. Uh-huh. And you you what did you you what did you say to me after? I don't, I don't remember. You said something to me about um I forget. I'm sorry. I'm the worst at this. You said something to me about the way that that they that I was had been portrayed, and something about N Nikki and her questions. Yeah, I just didn't like it. But it was specific. I'm I sorry. I forgot. It was most the worst. Of yeah, Nikki wasn't attacking Chris. Me, it look like. Oh God! Yeah, she. You um. Don't be talking about me. I'm not talking about nobody's skin unless I have to. Cause okay, I don't need that karma. Okay. Um, you guys, you need to go to YouTube and Vivo to check out the Is It Enough visual. It's out right now. So you can go do that and come back. It's three what three and a half minutes, almost four minutes. Go look at that and come back. The Is It Enough visual, which is the next single off of my album, Deep Space. It's out right now. Um, it's also in the link in my bio if you need that. Oh, PJ Morton singing. Mm. 
Yes. I'm sick of Tashina. Did I say something on the show when Nikki left? Like what? I don't know. I saw, we watched the whole thing, right? Yeah. Um, well, somebody said a comment. They said, uh, watch your fucking tone and address Andy the way you tried to address Nikki when she left the stage. He didn't, you didn't yeah, address her. Anything, right. I think I said, did you say hi to Nikki? Because when you came onto the stage, she was gone already. I said, did you say hi to Nikki? I said, yeah, I said hi. Um, yeah. Yeah, Soul Train's on, guys. I'm sorry. I have ADD. Undiagnosed ADD. I cannot focus to save my life. Yeah, it was really whack. Curry for real, wasn't it? It was just like, girl, you... You just, you need to go find a club of your own because you don't fit in this club. This club is not, it's not your stilo. You said, did you see Nikki? Yes. Merch is coming, y'all. Merch is coming. Hi, Jan. Everybody congratulate Jan. He is Grammy, he's a Grammy nominated producer. These days for it's Ariana Grande. Is it position? Don't get me lying. But everybody say hi, Jan. Get that Grammy. You should hear my cover of Drive Back. Send it to me. I want to hear it. Y'all are really rude. Don't be talking about Nikki in here. Like, I don't even dis whatever. I don't need to explain. <laughs> you don't what? Fucking funny, man. Yeah, child. Should have told Nikki how you felt in the moment. Like, Why? You you don't. There's there's nothing to tell her. Right. She's just asking the questions. I don't have to like the questions. And right, and that's your prerogative. Oh, thanks, guys. What does that mean? Seven hundred views, getting brave. I'm just as bold with 52 views. Um, um, our Thanksgiving was actually really nice. We just ate and hung out and ate more. We ate too much, drank. We were, when were we hung over? We were, you weren't? You were kind of hung over. What day was that? Mm -hmm. Was it that was the day before Thanksgiving? I had a real nasty hangover. And it's fine if he doesn't like the question. Can he not have an opinion because it's Nikki? Exactly. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Why was Chris mad after you sang at the reunion? You just you must have just got in the room because we already addressed this. Because every other time Candace has sung on TV, something has happened very weirdly that the vocals weren't right or the music wasn't playing or whatever else ha happens during production that makes it sound terrible. So I didn't like it. And you're, oh, it sounded good, it sounded good. Sure, it did sound great right there in the moment. Luckily, what I heard there, I saw on TV tonight. That hasn't been the same in the past. You're in the industry now. It's unprofessional of Chris to conduct himself that way. You must not be in the industry. <laughs> like, what my husband did walking over to his wife and expressing to his wife that he was dissatisfied with something that he saw slash heard is nothing compared to some of the shenanigan foolery that happens with managers, road managers, executives, like things get wild. So 
Stay in your lane. Don't be swerving. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Hi, Rob. Yes, get out of my room. If you hate the Bassets, get your ass out of the room. Yeah, Chris never disrespected Nikki. Did not. Thank you, Ketty Grams. <gasps> oh, God, please don't. Oh, my God. Jesus, help me. Where is the food at? Oh, okay. Yes, the only prudence. Hi, prudence. I need to do my homework. That's actual and factual. So, um, right. Thank you. Mocha minutes. That's the exactly the point. If Chris wasn't miked, no one else would have known what he said, except the people in that general vicinity. So, Giselle... And Robin, who he was also kind of talking to. Nobody else would have... And Andy, because Andy was standing right there. Nobody else would have known. It's not like he rented a billboard or bought a billboard on Sunset Boulevard and said, fuck Nicki Minaj, because she's she was talking to Nicki Minaj, because she's she was talking shit. Like, he was expressing his discontent to his wife and his wife's coworkers. Like, but y'all are mad. And well, not y'all, but the people are mad. Hi, Peaches Palace, and uh, and trying to make mountains out of molehills, child. Y'all just need. I know we're still in a panorama, and y'all are bored and lonely and ain't got nothing to do. But you need to find something to do. Okay, it's the holiday season. If you, if your check is long enough, go get you some stuff out of Home Goods. Amazon is available. Do some shopping, put your tree up, bake a pie, some cookies, touch some grass, you know. There are many options. Mm -hmm. This is healthy. This is good. Um, it was good drama. Yes, Tiffany, you're right. You're right. Yeah, he was being protective of me. That's the other thing. Y'all just, do y'all not have nobody to protect you? I pray God's blessings. I play a hedge. I pray a hedge of protection over y'all, like the one I got over me. In Jesus' name, thank you, God, for my for my hedge of protection. I just you all need people to protect you, and you can't be upset with my husband for protecting me and being protective of me in a tactful way. Now, if he had like run down the hallway screaming, "Where's Nikki?" I got something to say to her and tried to like, you know, boss up in her face or some crazy. Okay. Mm, that would have been three much a lot. He would have never done that. But the man simply came out of, of his hotel, of the room where, where he was being held up to come on to the set because it was time for the husband segment. And he was expressing his issue to me. Okay. No, he should not have addressed Nikki. It wasn't, it wasn't even about Nikki. It was about me. He was talking to me. Why you go address Nikki for? Nikki was doing her job and I was doing my job. And Chris was just being a husband, protecting, being protective of me in the moment. Oh, I think people think Chris is mad because the way he worded his tweet wasn't the funny way he wanted it to be. Um, yeah, he was being funny in that tweet. I also did not think he was. I thought he was upset when he tweeted what he tweeted about, you know, the tweet the tweet that everybody was talking about. Um, but when I asked him about it, he was like, no, I was just being funny. I was just trying to throw people off and make them think that you didn't sing. Um, and I was like, oh, OK. And that was the end of that. Right. Chris can say whatever he want to say. Okay. Right. A man can express his emotions to his wife. A APR Norwood. 
That's because you got a good husband that protects you. And that's that on that. That's all. That's all she wrote. Okay. At the end of the day, I was entertained. I mean, you saw it. Like, I didn't actually watch this episode before it aired because I was running around busy. I didn't have time. And so I watched it with you guys in, in real time as it was airing. And I, you saw me laughing. I laughed the majority of Nikki's segment. I was cracking up before, during, and after it was my turn to be read by Nikki. I was laughing because like, it was, I just, one thing I will say is that she was funny, but I, I enjoyed how she brought humor and sisterhood and funniness out of all of us. Like she invoked something that hasn't, hasn't happened before in that way at a reunion, you know, Andy's good. He's good at his job and he, he knows how to, you know, pull the things out of us, but it was just a totally different perspective with Nikki. And I enjoyed it. I was laughing my ass off. I hope y'all were. Yes, it's all entertainment. Some people are way too invested. Mrs. Sawyer, speak a word. Don't Nikki make more than her husband? I don't You got to ask Nikki that. I don't know. She is the most streamed female rapper. Nikki is successful in her own right. Okay, she's doing her thing. She's doing her thug fizzle. Um, yeah, she read everybody, not just one person. Yeah, it was, um, it was interesting. It was crazy to watch. Let what's who's at the barbs need to grow up because they take things too far when it's not that serious, always causing drama with the wrong people. Go continue to bully the people that actually try to do harm to Nikki. Yes, that part. Without Nikki, the reunion would have been boring as fuck. I mean, Nikki absolutely brought what needed to be brought to the reunion. And um, we definitely had four parts because of her. But the reunion would have been boring without me. And let's just keep it 100. Because the first two episodes, all we did was bash and trash and try to crash Candace. But, you know. <laughs> 